of Hellfire, and I bring you... Alright, this is going to be a install video for Hellfire Sandwich 1.7. In this video, I'll be using uh, the dirty version, but there is also a clean version without the extra mods in Hellfire. Uh, this is going to be installed through Clockwork Mod Recovery. Um, not touch based. This is going to be just a regular use the buttons on the sides recovery. Uh, the Clockwork Mod should be installed through NV Flash, not ROM Manager. Okay, and uh, for this, the test install will be done with the phone off, all the way powered all the way off. So turn it on and get it into recovery. We'll hold down the volume down and the power button. We first get the usual white LG screen, and when we get the blue one, we'll let go of the power button. Okay, now we are in Clockwork Mod Recovery. Alright, the first thing you want to do before you go messing with anything is take it down to Backup and Restore. Hit the power button and backup. I'm not going to do it right now because I already have a ton of backups on here. But you want to do that in Android backup. It'll probably take about five minutes. Once that's done, I'm going to go back, wipe data, factory reset. Once that's done, go ahead and give it a wipe cache partition. And then go down to advanced, wipe delvic cache. Now optionally you can do a wipe battery stats. I do that whenever I switch between ROMs. I don't do it for um, updating from one ROM to a new version. I just do it when I switch from like Hellfire Sandwich to Hellfire Phoenix or whatever. Alright, and the last thing we're going to do is go into Mounts and Storage. Mount System. Then Format System. Now once this starts, you have no system on your phone. So you'll only be able to boot into Recovery until you restore an Android backup or install a ROM. In this case, we'll be installing a ROM. Once that's done, go back. Install zip from SD card. Choose zip from SD card. For the video, I went ahead and just put it on the root of the external SD card, but you can put it pretty much wherever you want. I normally keep it up here in this ROMs folder. And in this case, it will be Hellfire Sandwich 1.7 Dirty. We'll click on that. The Yes Install. Now, the Hellfire Sandwich double flash bug has been taken care of, so 1.7 you won't need to double flash it. But just in case, pay attention to how long this takes. Once it gets through the um, macro here, if you see this bar is kind of jump across and get done in a couple of seconds, you're going to want to flash it a second time. In this case, it's taking longer, so it's going to be an okay flash. Once that is done, it'll drop back to choose zip from SD card. Go ahead and hit that. Again, go down to where your downloads are and install the G apps that Hell supplies in his original post where he downloaded the ROM from. And you always want to use whatever G apps that they link. Some of them have to be modded to work properly with the ROM for the Play Store 
or anything else to work properly, the fixes will already be applied there. All right, once that is done, go back. Now, some people advise to wipe the catch partition again after flashing. I've never had a problem with not doing that, but I'll go ahead and show it just to be safe. And go to advanced, wipe delvet cache as well. And once that's done, and if you want, you can wipe the battery stats. I'll go ahead and do that. Once that's done, you go back, reboot system now. Now the first boot does take longer um, since the ROM has to kind of settle in and the kernel has to process all the scripts. It takes about you know, three times longer than normal boot would probably take. Once you get the uh, slight dimming of the screen, up here we can see the opening boot animation from Jay Blah. Well, once it does the uh, slight dimming and uh, sometimes a, a real short light vibrate, it's about halfway done. And I guess while we're waiting for this to boot up, I can go ahead and tell you about uh, the flashing in Clockwork Mod. What I showed you was the manual way of wiping everything. Uh, Hell does have in his post a link to a G2X scrubber, which pretty much automatically does all that for you. And then the other option you can do is the nullifier by Volk, also on XDA. Um, the nullifier takes a lot longer. It takes for a single wipe about 7 to 10 minutes but it actually zeroes out your memory. It doesn't just format it. And then it goes back and formats it after it's done. Now, the G2X scrubber is pretty much a manual wipe. It just does it all for you. You run it like you would normally install a ROM. You just install as, uh, install from SD. Oh, okay. We're pretty much back up. Oh, there's the welcome screen. Okay, we have a successful flash. It's booted. At this point, I want just to kind of note what time it is up there, turn it off, set it down, and leave it alone for 10 minutes. Don't touch anything on for 10 minutes, let it sit, let it settle, let the scripts run, let the tweaks take hold. Um, you know, if you're impatient to play with it, just go ahead and read through the Hellfire Sandwich thread. If there's a bug or anything in there you should keep an eye out for, just read the thread for a while, 10 minutes will pass before you realize it. Okay, it's been 10 minutes. Time to turn this thing on and play with it a little bit. And the first thing you get is the usual welcome screen. And it's got the cool ICS coloring. In this case, you can see I'm already connected to 4G. I'm not going to go actually set up the phone. I'm just going to kind of skip through this for the uh, purpose of the video. No, my name is not GIFOB. Right, hit finish once that is done. It'll pop up some of the useful hint screens that Google thinks you need. And I'm um, right off the bat, as soon as you connect any kind of internet, the size of mod statistics will show up. You can either leave it enabled or not. We're not official, so I don't think it really matters either way. And just to kind of show you how fast this is, I'll drop I will drop just random things on the home screen. So you can see it scrolling through. You see the home screens scroll very quickly. You can see it's very fast. The widgets are joined up with apps so you can just scroll right on through it. stock browser. Of course I just lost my 4G so it's going to not load up very well at all. And as you can see you can just kind of pop through everything. Everything is nice and quick. No real problems. Let me show the camera. The camera doesn't lag. You can 
take the pictures. Okay, since this is 1.7 dirty, this also comes with a custom Hellfire sandwich only lock screen, which is with this nice red star here. This is the Hellfire sandwich bacon from hell. We got a four way camera, phone, SMS, to unlock. And same thing. Nice and quick. This ROM doesn't have ex uh, hardware acceleration yet since LG and NVIDIA refused to give us the drivers and the source required to do it. However, as you can see, Hell has come quite a long way in making a nice, fast ice cream sandwich ROM for everybody to enjoy. Thank you.